Hey guys, welcome to the first ever video of Fusion Studios. In this video, we'll check out how really smart the MG Hector is. It's one of the smartest SUV in the 20 lakh segment till now. You might have already seen a couple of videos about the MG Hector, but this video is totally focused on the smartphone controls, its operations, and how you use it. The name of the application is MG iSmart and it's available for download on iOS and Android devices. The links for the download are given below in the description. Now let's get started with installing the application. We're using a OnePlus 5T which is an Android device. This app requires active internet connection and can be used in two devices max, but it's best if you use this in one device. This app is about 100 MB in both iOS and Android devices. The link for the downloads is given in the description below. So this is the MG Hector iSmart app. This app is loaded with features like service reminders, service booking and online tracking, service history, service cost estimator. You can locate the dealer and navigate to the nearest dealer, maintenance schedules, push notifications, voice commands and chat support. So let's open the application and give all the permissions. Now let's start. So this is the interface which connects the card and the app. Let's turn on the internet. Now let's click on unknown. This is where you log in with your username and password. But first we need to register, which is on the top right corner. Now let's type in the phone number. After that click on send for the OTP verification. Once that done, type in the OTP in the verification tab. After that let's type in the password for creation. Once that done, click on the checkbox below. Now let's check out the terms and conditions. Now let's click on register. Now we have successfully completed the registration process. Now the first step is to click on the unknown button which is on the top left corner. This is for binding the car and the app. So click on buy now. Now here we need to type in the win code and the engine number. So this is the Starry Black edition of the MG Hector and the win code and the engine number can be found in the co-passenger seat panel which is exactly over here. Now once you get that, we need to type the win code and engine number over here. And then once again re-verify the phone number. After that, click on next. Now we have successfully binded the vehicle. On the top right corner, we have the total kilometers which is run and over here we can see the location of the vehicle and on top we can see the vehicle status which just shows normal. Let's click on that. Now it's scanning for each parts of the vehicle and checking if it's in normal condition or not. Now it's scanned successfully and it's showing the lock status, the door status if it is closed or not. It's showing the sunroof status, it is showing the tire status, which shows all the pressures from all the four tires. Now it's showing the fuel status below that, and the electric power steering status, the airbag status, and the park brakes. Now we're trying to go back. Now this is showing the fuel range, which is 3.1 km for the fuel in the tank. And then now it's showing the location of the car. And that's the fuel tank capacity. 
Now that's the car interface and that's the find my car option. Now let's give the GPS permissions. Now it's showing the live location of the car on the map. Let's try to zoom in. Now over here we have two options, the road to car option and the honk and light option. This comes in handy if you want to find the car in a parking area. Now this is a route to car option. The blue one's our location and the orange one is the car. Now when you click on the go option it shows the direction to the car. Now these are the highlighted features of the MG Hector. Each one of these require password activation. Let me show you. It's a 4 pin security code. Now that's the central locking feature, similarly we have the AC, sunroof and the tailgate feature. Now let's go back to categories. So that was the remote control feature, similarly we have the travel, geofencing, smart drive and my profile. Now let's go to travel. So here we are using the proprietary AMG app for travel. So for now we'll choose Arnoculum as location. Now press on go. So here we have two options, the create and send option. The create option will create the route plan and the send option will cast this to your MG Hector's display. So that was the travel option. Now let's check out Geofence. Now GFence is a facility where you can set the fence area around which your car can move around. So we have two options, the drive in and drive out. So drive in option gives you alert when the car goes into the fence area and drive out vice versa. That's the option for setting the fence radius and receiving alerts. So that's the option for setting the fence area. If you click on yes, the fence will be set and the delete option is for deleting the set fence area. You can also set by pressing the set button over here. Click on yes. Now it's, it's been successfully set. Now let's check out the smart drive option. So this is a smart drive interface. It has various data which is the total kilometers run, the duration, the drive score, the fuel efficiency and average speed on the right. Below that we have the tracking option which we will show later on this video. And on the bottom we have the acceleration, harsh braking, sudden turn and overspeed indications. And then we have the max speed and the total kilometers driven about 80 and 120 kilometers per hour. So each time you go for a drive this data will be collected and shown in the smart dive interface. Now let's go to tracking mode. Over here the grey path shown is the last driven route and the breakpoint, overspeed and sudden turn indications are shown as the purple, red and the yellow indications. The starting point is shown as the red marker and the blue location is the current location of the vehicle. Now let's go to my profile. Now this is the my information page where it shows the user data. Below we have alarm settings and several other things. So now we'll check out the alarm settings. Here we have two options, the abnormal alarm and the speeding alarm. The abnormal alarm sends you notification if there's any hardware or critical errors in the system and the speeding alarm shows you notification if you go above 120 or 80 kilometers. Now let's check out security code settings. This is the option where if you want to change your security pin, you can change it over there. And then this is the travel plan option where all your travel plans will come under this section. Now this is the my information page where you can set your nickname, birthdays and etc. Contacts information and email. Then we have favorites, feedback and about. And below that we have the option to download the my MG app by scanning the QR code. Now this app shows you the vehicle information and service offerings. 
Now let's check out the feedback option. Here we can send feedbacks regarding the issue types. We have various issues like remote control issue, vehicle management, my profile and other customizable issues. And here you can send the screenshot or JPEG of the pic regarding the issue and here you can type the content of the issue. There seems to be a small bug in this application is that when you click the back button doesn't go back, so probably it'll be fixed in the future updates. One small quirk which we found is that it would have been more interesting if the app showed the right color of the car which we bought, but unfortunately it just shows it in white. Now let's click on the Night Fury option which is the name which we gave to the car. It shows the brand name, the model year, the color and the vehicle name and the VIN code. The vehicle name can be changed clicking on that option. Here we have the option to add vehicles. Clicking on the plus button, we just need to type in the VIN code and again verify the mobile number to add the new vehicle. Then we have the message option on the top right corner which shows you the alarm, command and news notification. Now this is the key which we get for the MG Hector. It has a keychain necessary which is bundled along. So we have three buttons, the lock, unlock and the boot and in front we have the MG logo. Now these buttons have quirks inside them. If you just click the lock button once, it just locks the car and then it unlocks the car and this will boot open. Now when you long press the unlock button, the sunroof and the windows roll down. When you long press the lock button, the sunroof closes. Now when you press the tailgate button, it just unlocks the tailgate but if you long press the tailgate button, it automatically opens the tailgate using the power and if you long press it again, it automatically closes the tailgate using power. Now on the other side, we have the release lock for the manual key. Now using this key, you can unlock the door manually if there is something wrong with the automated system. Now I'll show you where to use this key on the MG Hector. And this rectangular slot below the handle is where you insert the manual key. Now let me show you a few of the smartphone controls. Now I'm gonna show you the central locking feature. By clicking on that icon, it'll prompt you to type in the security code again. Once you do that, as you can see, it's been unlocked. Similarly, if you want to lock it again, press on the icon once more, type in the security code and then it's locked. Now let's try the AC function. This turns on the engine and the AC. Now the car will automatically turn off after 10 minutes. If not, you can manually turn off by doing the same procedure again. Now it's successfully turned off. Now let's check out the sunroof opening feature. Closing the sunroof is also very easy. Now let's check out the tailgate option. So by pressing this icon and entering the security code, the tailgate will be unlocked. Now if you don't open the tailgate in 30 seconds, it automatically locks. Now let's check out the key features again. If you press the unlock button for 3 seconds, as you can see the sunroof and the windows roll down.
Now if you press the lock button for 3 seconds, the sunroof closes. The windows won't roll up because it's part of the safety feature. Now let's check out the tailgate function. Now if you press the button for 3 seconds, the tailgate will automatically open. And this is the only car in the 20 lakh segment in 2019 which has the automatic boot open and close function. If you wanna close the tailgate, you know what you wanna do. Thank you for watching the video guys, click on the subscribe and the bell button to get our fusion updates.